Hello and welcome back to Zucascope TV. I'm Monica Gibson and I'm joined in the studio by Professor of Finance, Michelle Giradin. Michelle, thank you very much for coming in. Hi, nice to meet you. Now, we're talking about your book which you published uh, about six months ago, I believe, mm -hmm. La Bourse et la Vie, Money and Life. Now, could you tell us a little bit about it, please? Uh, it's a book uh, which portraits uh, people in the world of finance. And there are some very uh, famous people like George Soros, Warren Buffett, Alan Greenspan, but also not as known, uh, well-known people, not as not the kind of icons I just mentioned. Um, the idea came from a friend of mine who is a photographer, and he told me, "Look, when we do pictures, because it's a book about photography and text. I like photography and I like writing, so that's that's the perfect combination of my two passions here." And uh, basically, a, a friend of mine uh, told me, when we take pictures, um, we always are on the lookout for a theme. You know, what are we going to take pictures of? Not just nice flowers or nice buildings or whatever, or people. Uh, so the idea came, he gave me this idea. He said, you have an incredible chance that you l live, you, you are active in a world which is totally close, hermetic, to other people like us. So do profit from this fantastic opportunity you have and give us some nice portraits of people inside. So nice portraits you mentioned. Now if we look, now comes a series of photographs which are at, currently on show at the FNAC until I believe the 27th of April. Mm -hmm. What are these themes that you're talking about in these? Like, can you talk us through some of them? Right, yes. right. When this book came out, uh, uh, well, that's a good, uh, good example. Uh, uh, I was interviewed here by the Swiss television and, uh, and they said, okay, it's, it's a very uh, interesting thematic to, to show us, uh, you know, how this world, which is totally, as I said, hermetic and, and hard to, to penetrate, uh, can you show us other uh, images as these old people like George Soros, Warren Buffett, Alan Greenspan, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like, would you have some women, for instance? And I said, yes, yes. And, and she is uh, one of them. Uh, her name is Mathilde uh, Francini. She, ma she runs a hedge fund here in Geneva. And uh, so I thought it would, it would be interesting to show uh, just another <laughs> icon, another image of the world of finance through uh, women. And that's how the idea came, came about to, and this is possibly a second book, we'll see, I'll see how things go. But I started with an exhibition, so she is one of the pictures I'm showing at the FNAC in, in, uh, in Geneva. She's another uh, ex-banker and now she's a headhunter, her name is Caroline Miller. And uh, there are uh, in total about 20, 25 uh, portraits. Here's another one that we have. Oh yes, these are two ladies. Uh, on the right is uh, Professor Hania Gibson uh, here at the University of Geneva and uh, an, an ex-student of her, Nicole Baimer, she runs a, a risk management uh, company. Another uh, Gibson, I'll need to see if I can introduce myself to her. And so we have one final uh, image, I believe. Who's this lovely lady? Oh <laughs> yes, I think you know her. I think I, think I, I wanted to give a, you know, a, a rather diversified panel of so people of course, in the world of finance. Our this very own Darren McDermott, our very own journalist. Yes, indeed, from uh, your company. And I, I also put other journalists uh, specializing in the world of finance. Uh, the idea, the whole idea behind, it, behind this, either both through my book and through this exhibition, is to give some sort of sense of humanity of the world of finance. You know, people, people in, in Germany, there's a, in German, there's a saying, was der Bauer nicht kennt, frisst er nicht. What, the, what the, <laughs> the guy who works in, uh, in the field and the land uh, doesn't know, he doesn't eat. And I apply this, this, this idea to, the world, to the, this world, say what we don't understand because it's aromatic, because it's closed, we don't, we don't really want to, we don't find it appealing. So I said, let's try with this book and with this exhibition to make uh, the world uh, of finance a bit more human and appealing. Michelle, in your experience as you know, chief economist, and, and you've had so much over the last 20 years, met so many different people in this industry, women in finance itself is such a topical subject at the moment. Did you find that you've met more women or more men in this particular industry? Hmm. 
It depends on, on the fields. It depends on the subsectors of the world of finance. You find obviously quite a few women in the departments of uh, communications, uh, for instance, uh, in the bank or back office sometimes as well. IT, quite a few, um, surprisingly maybe. Uh, maybe not, a, uh, quite a few also um, in the, uh, it depends on the bank. Some private banks would rather tell you that the old sort of saying that, uh, you know, clients typically are quite kind of old for private banks. So, and these people, they tend to be more reassured if it's some, a man with possibly gray hair that <laughs> takes care of his wealth as opposed to a young and lively and colorful uh, uh, lady. But there are different theories about that, and not all the banks have this kind of philosophy. But what I can say, and I like to quote here uh, one of the women that is in my book, Angela de Wolf, who hems, hems herself quotes uh, the, the head of the World Bank, uh, and she said something really nice uh, after the crisis, just when the crisis happened. She said, uh, if Lehman Brothers had been Lehman Sisters, probably the world economy w and the financial uh, system would not be in such a shamble. And, uh, and I think this is very right because some study, I, I've, I've digged into this and I've seen a couple of studies in back in, in the US and also in Switzerland that tend to show that there is a different attitude towards risk and risk management and risk taking uh, between, and here I don't like to say between women and men, but I'd say the, 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 the study with the, which is done is with the testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> they take some <laughs> testosterone from your saliva and they see there's a pos positive correlation between the, the, uh, the degree of tes uh, testosterone you have, the, the extent to which you have a highly this uh, hormone and the risk, you, 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 whether you're risk taking or not. And so I, we find this, uh, and there's the link, you know, here between Lehman Brothers and Lehman Sisters. Probably if there had been women running Lehman Brothers or Lehman Sisters, uh, probably the, the attitude towards risk would have been much more careful. What is it they say behind every strong man there's a strong woman? <laughs> but no, it's, it's very refreshing to hear this, um, this whole topic, women in finance. Hope that the exhibition goes very well and thank you so much for coming in once again, Michelle. Thank you, America. Thank you. Well, there we go, something a little bit different once again in the Ducoscopy studio. We hope you've enjoyed watching and please do click back for much more. Bye for now.